Go back to that story we promised you that uh, we would uh, uh, get more on. Remember the incident where um, the, uh, well, it's a memorial service now of the uh, five children who died from suspected food poisoning in Soweto is expected to take place in the Naledi Community Hall this morning. And uh, our reporter at that story is SABC News' Pusileto Mokwena. Uh, Pusileto, please give us an idea of what's going on this morning there because this is another one of those stories that certainly has got the community angry and the families devastated. Well, certainly, Lian, this is a very sad um, incident that happened in Naledi Soweto. Um, as we all know that um, five children lost their lives after allegedly consuming suspected poisoned food. Um, we all know that one of them is still in ICU receiving medical care. Well, I'm just going to step out of the shot, Lian, um, just to take you um, how, how busy it's going to be here. All of us are going to be gathered here to pay um, our last respects to the five souls who were robbed of their lives in their young ages. Um, as you can see with the number of chairs around here, it is going to be um, a busy, a busy day, a busy um, uh, a memorial service. We are at the memorial service of those five children, Lien, um, inside the Naledi Community Hall. Well, if I can take you back, um, Lien, to when I was visiting um, the families of the children um, over the week, oh, 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 over the week, along the week, um, they, well, I was speaking to um, one of the mothers who are affected by this tragic incident, who is the mother of the young Njabulo Msimanko. Um, she told me that um, she heard a loud cry of a crying woman, um, and then that is where she ran towards the, the terrifying sound of a crying woman outside in the streets. That is where she found the, the, another mother who is affected by this tragic incident, um, crying, holding the lifeless body of his son in her arms. When Lien, and that is where um, because Lien. These children were friends, right? Now, that is when she asked her son, Jabulo, who is now the deceased, that, Jabulo, what took place? What happened? Jabulo um, told her that um, his friend had consumed their sus this suspected poisoned food bought from a local spaza shop just around the corner here. Well, Lien, that is when she asked Jabulo if, if he also consumed the snacks. Jabulo told her that, no, he, um, he didn't consume and then she told me vulnerably Lien that um, immediately a few mem a few moments after that Njabulo started complaining about having um, stomach um, stomach uh, stomach pains well um, as for our viewers they can just um, stay tuned for more Lien all right Pusileto, thank you very much for uh, giving us an update and SABC News following that story very very closely and of course um, that sixth child who was also poisoned still in intensive care in hospital all right that is where we end the news today what a bulletin goodness me it's just a, a very very sad day here in south africa as so many children that's we are saying goodbye to it's just very difficult and of course there's still that uh, accident that uh, uh, jade is on her way to where we've heard that eight people have been killed uh, with that uh, collision and we believe that some children are involved we're not sure of the details but that again another very sad story will bring more for you during the course of this morning but if not definitely on the agenda